Today we are using Cricut Infusible Ink to make those socks with the really cute sayings on the bottom of them. You know the ones, kind of like these. And I honestly cannot wait, so let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your cricket and crafting channel where I post multiple cricket tutorials and projects and just flat out cricket inspiration for you every single week. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never have to miss a single cricket minute. Now with all of that said and done, let's get into today's project. The first thing that you're obviously going to need is some Cricut Infusible Ink. I'm using red and black for today's project, but you can really use any color or pattern that you'd like. You're also going to need a cutting machine. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can use whatever cutting machine you have. I'm also using my Cricut Easy Press 2 and my Cricut Easy Press Mat, and this is the 6 inch by 7 inch version in case you were wondering. You're also going to want some white or very light colored socks with a very, very high polyester count. I'm talking at least 90% or higher. The ones I'm using are 97% polyester, so they should work out really well. You're also going to want some parchment paper, a mat for your cutting machine, some cardstock, a lint roller, weeding tool, scissors, and a measuring tape or a ruler. All right, so step one is measuring. So we're going to take a piece of cardstock and fold it into thirds. Just like that. And we're gonna tuck it right into the sock. And this actually serves two purposes. It gives us a flat surface to apply our infusible ink to, but it also keeps the infusible ink from leaking through to the top of the sock as well. All right, so you should have something that looks a little bit like this. All right, so if you can see this little pucker that's right here, that's the heel of the sock. And what we wanna do is start our measurement right below that and have our measurement run from there down to about an inch below the toe of the sock. All right, so for my sock, that'll be seven inches. And then you just wanna measure side to side as well. And for my sock, that'll be right at three and a half inches. All right, so for step two, we are creating our design. So I'm pulling up Cricut Design Space and we're gonna go through that process together of how to create that. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is create some type of a template for the measurements that we just took. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to the left side of the page and click on shapes. Then I'm gonna click on square. And now what I wanna do is come up here to the top of the canvas to where it says size. I'm gonna unlock that padlock, which will allow us to have different measurements for the height and for the width. For the width, we're gonna put in at three and a half inches and then click enter. And for the height, I'm gonna type in seven. All right, great. So now I'm gonna come back up here to the top of the canvas again and lock that padlock back so that I don't accidentally mess up the proportions. And now I'm just gonna scroll over to the top left of the canvas to this color swatch right here where it shows like a charcoal gray color. I'm gonna click on that and change it to white so that I can see our design better. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this rectangle. All right, so these rectangles now represent the bottom of our socks. We can now bring in some text and some images and play around with it, all the while knowing how much room we have to play around with because of this. So the first thing that I want to do is come over here to the left-hand side of the page and click on text. And I want to type in off. And while that text box is selected, I want to come up here to the top left side of the page and change the font out. And I want to come over here and search for varsity. Now Cricut Design Space also has a font named Varsity, but that is not the font that I'm using. I actually got this font for free and installed it into Cricut Design Space. And if you wanna see how I did that, I'll link a video right up here and I'll also put it in the description box below. So I'm just gonna drag this off to the side and then come up here to Advanced and Ungroup to Letters. So instead of having the letters running horizontally like this, I wanna have them running vertically. So I'm just gonna click each letter and just line them up right underneath of each other. All right, so something just like that would work. I'm gonna click and drag over top of it. And now since they're all selected, I'm gonna come up here to the top of the canvas and select align. And then I wanna select center horizontally. And what that did was just made sure that all those letters were centered perfectly. So while all of these are still selected, what I'm gonna do is come down here to the bottom right side of the page 
and click attach. Now let me just put a little side note in here. If you had a word that was running horizontally, and let's say those letters were overlapping, like a script font. Actually, let me just show you an example. If you had a script font like this that was running horizontally and each of the letters were overlapping a little bit, you would not want to use the attach function to hold them all together. If you did that and you sent it to cut, it would still cut out each individual letter and you don't want that. So what you would want to do is weld it instead. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna drag my word back over here and then resize it. I think that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is come over here to text and start working on our second sock. All right, so there's one design done and now I'm gonna go ahead and just make up a few more designs so you can kind of get the idea of what we're going for. All right, so for something like this, where I want those lips to be behind that word, but we can't layer infusible inks like we can with like a normal vinyl, what we need to do is use the slice function. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, move this rectangle out of the way. And then I just wanna click and drag over the lips and that word me. And then come down here to the bottom right of the screen and click on slice. And slice really just acts like a cookie cutter, right? So I can go in here now Going to remove that part of the E. All right, and now I can just click and drag over the lips and come back down here to the bottom right and click on weld and the lips are good as new. All right. I think all three sets of these socks are absolutely adorable and I honestly just cannot wait to make all three. So what we wanna do first is click and drag over each set and then come over here to the top right of the screen and click on group. And as you can see over here in the layers panel, I have all three groups set up just like so. And so if I just wanted to make one of these, all I would need to do is just go through and click this little hide button right over here to the right of each group. All right, so let's make this one first. Let's come up here to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on make it. And step three is just cutting your design. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Cricut Maker and get that started up. But again, you can do this with any cutting machine. Now this part is absolutely vital, like so extremely important you have got to make sure to click this mirror button over here on the left-hand side of the page. If you don't click that, your project will most likely be ruined. So make sure that that is clicked. That is so, so, so important. All right, now I wanna come down here to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and click on continue. And for material, I'm just gonna select infusible ink transfer sheet. If you don't have that in your popular section, all you would need to do is just go over here to browse all materials and then just do a search for it. All right, so with Cricut Infusible Ink, the ink side or like the color or pattern side always goes facing up, while this side right here, the side that says Cricut Infusible Ink, this side always goes face down onto the mat. All right, so now I'm just gonna load this into my maker. Now for step four, we are weeding out our design. All right, so when it comes to weeding out infusible ink transfer sheets, what you wanna do is just to barely and gently start folding and twisting and bending until you start to hear cracking noises, which is the cuts separating from the transfer sheet.
All right, and then you wanna grab your weeding tool and start to barely start picking at one of the corners on the plastic side, on the actual transfer sheet side, until you can get the transfer sheet separated from the ink. And then what you wanna do is just to barely start pulling back on that ink and thus weeding out your infusible ink. And finally, for step five, we are infusing our socks with the infusible ink transfer sheets. Here I have my two socks still with the cardstock inside, which is gonna prevent any of that infusible ink of bleeding through to the top side of the sock. I'm gonna lay these down onto my Cricut Easy Press mat, obviously with the bottom of the sock facing upwards and with the heel of the sock facing me. So right now I am preheating my Easy Press 2 to 385 degrees. I'm gonna apply my parchment paper over top of my sock and I wanna preheat the sock for 15 seconds. And now I'm gonna grab one of my infusible ink transfer sheets. Now I'm just putting the parchment paper back over top of the sock and I'm gonna reapply my easy press, but this time we're doing it for 40 seconds. All right, you guys, are you ready for the reveal? I love this one, like love. <laughs> I also love the off-duty socks. Just imagine putting these on at the end of a very long day, kicking your feet up, relaxing, while also sending a message to your family to leave you alone because you're off-duty. <laughs> hey, if you liked today's video, please be sure to stamp that like button. You all have no idea how much that helps me out, so thank you so, so much in advance. Also, if you are new around here, do not forget to stamp that subscribe button and ring that bell for all of the notifications. I post new Cricut projects and tutorials and inspiration every single week, multiple times a week. So you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute. I also just started a brand spanking new Cricut Facebook group that is exclusive to only the subscribers of this channel. It is going to be a place where you can ask your cricket related questions and either myself or a moderator or just another member of the community where we can all join in and help out each other. And I just love that concept. I just love that idea. And I would love for you to be a part of it. So go ahead and click that link down in the description below and I'll see you in there. Also, for all of my written step-by-step -step Cricut tutorials, be sure to check out my blog at MrCraftyPants.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.